will stand at attention during the national anthem. Civilian guests are invited to place their hand over their heart. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the 7th Mission Support Group Commander and today's presiding officer, Colonel Todd Jensen, welcome to the 7th Force Support Squadron Change of Command in which Major Tamika Payne relinquishes command to Major Amy Jenkins. I am Master Sergeant Kyle Gibson, and I will serve as your MC for this event. The change of command ceremony is a visible means of handing the reins of command from one commander to another. Exchanging the guide on is more than just a symbolic tradition. The guide on identifies the loyalty and allegiance of the unit. Passing it to another officer was, and still is, the literal change of command. Today, the 7th Force Support Squadron guide on will be passed on, representing the responsibility of the unit being surrendered by one and accepted by another. Today's ceremony is simple and direct. The departing commander will face the presiding officer, salute, and say, Sir, I relinquish command. She then steps aside as the new commander takes her place in front of the presiding officer. She salutes and says, Sir, I assume command. In all, eight spoken words, but in those eight words are an ending and a beginning. For Major Payne, it marks the end of a distinguished tour with the 7th Force Support Squadron. For Major Jenkins, it heralds the beginning of a new and challenging tour of duty. To both, we offer our best wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Dais Honor Guard and the singing of our national anthem by Staff Sergeant Craze Butler Davis. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight.
heart. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Thank you, Dias Honor Guard and Staff Sergeant Butler Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, Major Payne's father could not be in attendance today, but he would like to give the invocation to via cell phone. At this time, we'd like to introduce our distinguished guests in attendance with us today. Please hold your applause till all are announced. The 7th Bomb Wing Commander, Colonel Joe Kramer. The 7th Bomb Wing Honorary Commander, Mr. Gray Ridwell. The 7th Bomb Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Eric Duggar. The 317th Airlift Wing Commander, Colonel Greg Young and his wife, Glenda. The 317th Airlift Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Mark Umfleet and his wife, Julie. The 7th Force Support Squadron Honorary Commander, Mr. Ted Evans. We are especially pleased to have with us today Major Payne's family, her husband, Marcus, their children, Tristan, PJ, and Micah, her mother, Mrs. Sandra Johnson, who is smiling down and joining us this afternoon, her sister, Miss Danielle Allen, and her son, DJ, her cousin, Miss Maya Peacock, and her son, John. Attending virtually, her father, Mr. Gary Johnson, and his wife, Alicia, and her brother, Mr. Tremaine Edmondson. <laughs> also joining us today is Major Jenkins' family. Her husband, Justin, their son, Henry, and family friends, Major J.D. Corliss, and his wife, Major Heather Corliss, and their daughters, Emily and Jacqueline, and Major John Nussbaum, also attending virtually, her mother, Miss Mary McIntyre, her sister, Miss Ann Aids, and Miss Wendy McIntyre, and her in-laws, Jeff and Connie Jenkins. We would also like to welcome all of the group commanders, squadron commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, Team Dias Warriors and their families that have joined us, joined us for this special occasion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Colonel Jensen.
Good morning, everybody. Make sure I get the mic adjusted correctly. Hey, good morning, and uh, today is a, a great day to be a part of Team Dyes. Great day to be in, uh, in big country as well. Appreciate everybody's flexibility and patience as we work through some, uh, some power challenges, um, but certainly it wouldn't be an MSG event if we didn't exercise all the MSG capabilities uh, from, from beginning to end. So uh, glad you guys stuck with us through that. Uh, Colonel Kramer, Mr. Bridwell, uh, Chief Duggar, Colonel Young, uh, Chief on Fleet, great to have you here today. Thank you for coming out uh, to support the, the change of command. Also, uh, for our honorary commanders, uh, for first sergeants, commanders, uh, chiefs, and members of, of Team Dias that are here today, and of course, the esteemed, esteemed uh, Seventh Support squ uh, Squadron, Four Support Squadron. Uh, we're, we're glad to have you here today, and, and glad everybody that could uh, could make it out. So uh, it's always great to be a part of Air Force tradition. Today's no exception to that. A change of command is truly a significant event uh, for the entire unit, but especially for, for our two young leaders that we have here today. Um, and for so many reasons, this ceremony has come together with so many people's uh, efforts. So uh, we're off to a great start, wonderful rendition of, of the national anthem. And how about that special touch of being able to, to bring uh, Tamika's father and to be able to do the, uh, the uh, invocation uh, virtually, if you will. There are a lot of things that uh, we, we, we could do without in terms of COVID, but I'll tell you, I think we've really stepped up our game in terms of our ability to be able to uh, access things virtually and really bring in the larger community. So uh, that, that's it's wonderful that, uh, that we could get, get him in today uh, to be able to participate. So special welcome to uh, the families. Um, Glad to have families here today. They are definitely a part of the uh, of the command team, uh, with, without a doubt. So, to both the Jenkins family, uh, as well as to the Payne family, we're glad to have you here, as well as friends, academy classmates, uh, and and uh, anyone who's who's joining us uh, virtually as well. So, um, I'm going to get a little bit deep here, and I'm going to I'm going to make an analogy to uh, an ancient Egypt depiction that we've seen in, in antiquity. And uh, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so if you know differently, just don't, don't correct me, please. But uh, this is the depiction of what's called the Ouroboros. And, and what that is, is the depiction of a circular snake eating its own tail. Pretty odd, right, to, to bring that up at, at a time like this. Um, but today's ceremony is, is symbolic of, of both an end, but also a new beginning. And the Egyptians used that symbol to talk to the circular fashion of, of life and how things come full circle. Um, Squadron Command follows that, that same pattern. And in less than an hour, we'll bid, we'll bid a fond farewell to uh, Major Tamika Payne. We'll also warmly welcome uh, Major Jenkins, Major Amy Jenkins to, to the fold and fulfill that, that circle of, of life. So Tamika, as you are intimately aware, Squadron Command is, is an unparalleled mental, intellectual, and emotional investment. The issues that you intend to work on any given day uh, or in the course of any given week seem to not necessarily be the ones that you actually end up, end up working. And the variable human element of command can account for both the best of days as well as some of those uh, that we would categorize as, as the most challenging. But the resulting operational outcomes for the collective effort are what makes squadrons like yours uh, the most important element of our United States Air Force. I don't want to rob from the content of Tamika's medal, and we'll get to that in just a minute, um, and we'll talk to some of her, her specific accomplishments. And I've done this before, but I want to do it again. I want to take just a minute to describe the global environment that Major Payne has led her squadron through. Resurgent adversaries like China and Russia that drive new competition mediums and new tactics that we've seen, not just in a traditional uh, defense sense, but uh, potentially in other ways that have impact our larger society. Uh, emergent war fighting concepts like our own, uh, through our own Department of Defense, such as a Agile Combat uh, Employment or Agile Combat Operations, the Bomber Task Force. Uh, we've seen an increase in deployment frequency um, 
going along with the Bomber Task Force, and that's also uh, in conjunction with longstanding AEF deployments that we continue to support. We've seen changes in force posture in both AFRICOM and CENTCOM, uh, and we're nearing some key milestones in our withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, we've seen here at Dias a 100-year storm called URI. Uh, we've seen political and social tension uh, domestically and in some cases locally. We've seen complex cyber attacks, and all of this is happening in the context, again, of, of the larger backdrop of, of a global pandemic. So if there's anything else we could throw in your rucksack, I'm not sure what it would be, because we've basically thrown everything at you that, that we absolutely can. So these are challenging times, to say the very, very least, and you led your team through each and every one of those challenges. Whether it was robusting STEM programs at the youth center, initiating new and inventive food uh, servicing options, getting a, a, a new standard on board in terms of the establishment of an esports uh, program uh, that's now benchmarked, precisely leveraging text and social, social media and other mediums to be able to get the FSS word across the base in the larger community. The list of your successes goes on, um, but throughout your challenges and successes, there's been one constant, and that's that uh, your, sh your, your family has been there to shoulder those same burdens uh, alongside. So those long days and short nights, uh, time away from mom, time away from family, a thousand other sacrifices that many, many families cannot even understand. Um, we want to make sure to pause and thank uh, Marcus especially, but Tristan, PJ, and Micah uh, for, for your contributions, not just to your mom, but to the larger FSS family. So thank you all for being a critical part of the team and for supporting mom over the course of the last two years. We wish you safe travels to Korea, but hope you also get some fun time with family as you move out east to actually ultimately go west. Um, and as you stop through Eastern North Carolina, which I was telling your family earlier, has a special place in my heart. I've always, I have a family connection to Eastern North Carolina. Um, so we hope that you have a great stay over there. And oh, by the way, when you stop through, you're gonna roll into town a major and you're gonna leave a lieutenant colonel. So, so what, a great, uh, what a great pause in between commands to be able to reflect not just on your service, but your accomplishment through, through promotion. So congratulations on all fronts. Major Jenkins, it may sound like Tamika took care of everything for you and there's nothing left to, for, for you to do. So you may be thinking your command is gonna be a breeze, but I'm here to tell you, not so much. <laughs> that context that I described earlier is still alive and well, and many of those challenges that uh, Major Payne faced are gonna be the, operate, or the environment that you're operating in as well. As you know, force support defines mission support in unique ways uh, and, and diverse ways as well. Your unit is argu arguably the most impactful impact, I, I don't know why I wrote this sentence, it's impossible to say. Your, your unit is arguably the most um, impact, impactful fulcrum on this installation. The delicate touch point between the operational flying mission and the flight line and airmen and airmen families. No one else does what force support does. Your outputs impact our Air Force mission and family in profound ways but I know personally that you're up to the challenge. You've previously served in small town Texas, as well as the Southwest, in New Mexico, as well as uh, down at Laughlin. Uh, you spent some time working policy at both Andrews and at the Pentagon, and you're most recently closing out a successful tour with your Masters of, of Military Operational Art and Science from Air Command and Staff College. So, the challenges that uh, lie ahead for you, you're, you're suited to address. You may even bring some of your Orlando sensibilities that you got in your hardship tour when you were working for Lowe's Hotels uh, through the Education with Industry program. So if you bring a little Orlando to Abilene, uh, that, that, would be, that would be a plus. Right. So in a nutshell, in my mind, you're savvy from Texas tech Technical all the way to Air University Strategic, and pretty much everything in between. And that's what we're gonna need from you, and we're gonna test it all. My challenge to you is to listen, 
not so much to me, although that's going to be pretty important, um, but to listen to your customers. That's the key, is to listen to your customers. You need to know their needs, and not only do you need to know their needs, you need to understand their needs, and how the 7th FSS can creatively get after those needs and enable the mission not just of the 7th Bomb Wing, but also of the 37, excuse me, the 317th Airlift Wing, the 48, 489th Bomb Group, as well as the 436 Train Squadron, and a variety of, of other Air Force and Sister Service mission partners that we have here on, on Team Dyes. We're not going to um, probably give you enough resources to make it easy, but you've got the right team to be able to maximize your resources and get the mission done. So in the end, we're here today to celebrate two successful officers, two special families, uh, and maybe most importantly, a very, very special unit. Both of you are poised to embark on new challenges um, in new environments, but I'm certain new successes as well. So let's get this change of command moving and get to the business at hand. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Colonel Jensen presents the Meritorious Service Medal to Major Payne. Publish the order. Attention to orders. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America, authorized by executive order, has awarded the Meritorious Service Medal, 3rd Oak Leaf Cluster, to Major Tamika Payne for Meritorious Service, 29 June 2019 to 29 June 2021. Major Tamika A. Payne distinguished herself in the performance of outstanding service to the United States as Commander, 7th Force Support Squadron, 7th Mission Support Group, 7th Bomb Wing, Dias Air Force Base, Texas. During this period, Major Payne successfully led 394 military and civilian airmen, managed $2.1 million in non-appropriated funds and $4 million in appropriated funds in support of 22,000 airmen, retirees, and dependents while serving as a strategic advisor to two wings. Additionally, her innovative leadership pioneered the concept of operations for the Air Force eSports, resulting in $1.85 million contract for the Air Force Service Center's first ever program. Furthermore, her unit was selected to lead the Air Force in testing e-commerce solutions in food, child and youth, and outdoor recreation, piloting multiple first-of-its-kind operations and support platforms. In partnership with the Abilene Chamber of Commerce, Major Payne significantly overhauled the WING's newcomer onboarding processes, engineering a centralized welcome center and bolstering quality of life for 800 airmen and families annually while establishing a full-time sponsorship coordinator for Team Dice. Finally, Major Payne led the command's busiest four support squadron, setting the standard for 43 WING, Group, and Major Command awards, culminating in the unit winning the 8th Air Force Vern Orr and the Air Force Global Strike Curtis E. LeMay Awards 2020. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Major Payne reflect great credit upon herself and the United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce the 7th Force Support Squadron Commander, Major Tamika Payne. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'll try to be brief because I don't know if this side of the room can tell, but we all got kids on this side. And, um, and they're driving our timeline right now. So. First, I wanted to say, um, I want to acknowledge the formation 
Um, I'm going to try not to look at you guys because it, it is really touching to my heart. So the formation that you all see is, is our squadron. It's the culmination of people from different walks of life with different responsibilities in different areas um, that could have nothing to do with one another and be successful, but they come together anyway under the guise of FSS and they make awesome things happen. So at any time you can get civilians to stand up for you for an hour and a half or so, um, and they're still smiling, then that's a good sign. So uh, the formation is, is it for me. Uh, I love y'all. Um, so I have notes because I want to avoid the ugly cry in public. Um, so here goes. Um, good morning. Um, I've, I've played this moment today about 17 times um, in my mind, not because I was looking forward to it per se, but because I believe people will remember three things, um, how I made them feel, the first thing I say in this, the last thing I say to you um, as your force support squadron commander. Before I go there, let me recognize that whatsoever good things, whatsoever true, whatsoever amazing accomplishments that anyone can connect to me um, has occurred only because of the leadership above me, um, even previous to now with Colonel McGlam, Colonel Sumigil, um, and now Colonel Kramer, Colonel Jensen, to let us succeed. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Fanton and Chief Warren before us, who also laid a foundation for the success you see today. So I just want to take time to recognize the, the legacy um, that we got to serve under. I recognize my peers, the best group of peers, I think, bar none, um, who endured all of my emails, calendar invites, coffee appointments, asked for help. Um, they've also been instrumental in keeping me joyfully employed over these past two years especially to my MSG bros who are and who were the most supportive teammates I could have asked to work with and to work alongside. I recognize my family has sacrificed a great deal of time, talent, privacy um, to be the FSS first family. And we stand together and we met those goals so we could finish together in a bonus because we finished plus one because we had a son <laughs> in the process because there was not enough to do. <laughs> OTV pain family. Um, it's worth saying publicly also to my husband, Marcus, um, being a male commander spouse is still a new thing for the Air Force. And the role model that you've set in doing that is one to be envied. And, and it's how the Air Force um, needs to do this moving forward. So thank you for being a good commander spouse um, to a female commander. Okay. Um, my sister, Danielle, is here, and I need to do something just real quick as we're going to continue the tradition of being unorthodox and atypical. Um, I just want to give my sister one of my coins, and it's just significant because she's in the Navy, um, and she admires these, these round metal objects significantly. And so um, she, I have two sisters, but my sister is, is here all the time, even now, uh, for everything. And they're, my sisters are the reason I became the adult I became. Um, it's because they were watching me and following me everywhere and doing everything I was doing. So I wanted to make sure I represented you well. So I have a coin for you, uh, Danny, uh, and I, I'll present it to you after this. But I love you. <laughs> my dad, uh, we was about to go to church. Y'all didn't even know. Um, thank you, Dad, <laughs> uh, for the blessing over this unit and over my life. Um, I'll see you soon. There's so many more people I need to recognize and I won't be able to. So please know I keep you in my prayers and my thoughts and I will pay forward your kindness, your support, and your patience with me. I will remember how you took, I'm sorry, I skipped the page. Um, now, to the men, women, and families of the Force Support Squadron. I took this position two years ago and have to say to you now what I said to you then. The root of the word, thank you. It means I will remember. It means I will remember how you repeatedly paved the way that no policy, no budgetary restraint, no winter storm, no tornado, no hiring limitation, no pandemic, no stray cat running through our headquarters building could hinder. <laughs> I will remember how you gave all you had because that's what it took. I will remember you breaking barriers and becoming the command standard just because you said, why not? Abilene has asked a lot of you. Dias has asked a lot of you. I have asked a lot of you. 
And I will remember how you took the mountains of issues and made them your footstools of success. Amy, you struck the proverbial goal with this command. I don't impress easily, but I'm often impressed with this team. Their strength, their innovation, their ingenuity. Um, these 394 superstars are gonna serve well under your command. And I'm so grateful for you to have the opportunity to enjoy what I was able to enjoy. Um, I know you all will continue to meet the standards of the 24th Century Air Force um, Airmen and Families, FSS. I want you to remember one thing, the last thing I say, is that you are a technology for the Air Force. Technology are developed so that they can solve problems and give a strategic advantage, and that's exactly what you are. Please don't ever forget that. I love you, thank you. Mr. Payne, the men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron greatly appreciate your sacrifice, commitment, and support to this group, our families, and the surrounding communities. Ma'am, it has been an honor to serve under your command. The men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron thank you for your leadership, support, and dedication. We wish you and your family good luck and Godspeed in the future. On behalf of the men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron, the squadron will render Major Payne her final salute as their commander. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the change of command. Publish the order. Attention to orders. By order of Colonel Todd M. Jensen, Special Order G-2132, Major Amy J. Jenkins assumes command of the 7th Force Support Squadron, Vice Major Tamika A. Payne, effective 29 June 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the 7th Force Support Squadron Commander, Major Amy Jenkins. Good morning, everyone. The theme of my brief speech today is giving thanks. So first, Colonel Kramer, Colonel Young, Command Chiefs, Distinguished Visitors, Families, our Presiding Officer, Colonel Jensen, and Team Dias, thank you for being here today. Thank you also, Sergeant Minnick, and your team for putting this ceremony together. Having worked changes of command in my day, I know they require a lot of coordination, and you've all done a fantastic job. I'd also like to extend thanks to my family who is joining this ceremony virtually. My mom, Mary, my sisters, Anna and Wendy, and my in-laws, Jeff and Connie. I would not be standing here today without your unwavering love and support over the years, so a very special thanks to each of you. I'd also like to thank our family friends who took time out of their own cross-country and international PCSs to be here today. And in particular, I'd like to thank my husband, Justin, and my son, Hank, for embarking on this journey with me and for being there, right there with me every step of the way. You are my rock, and I couldn't imagine being here without your unwavering support and love. Colonel Kramer and Colonel Jensen, thank you both for your trust and confidence in affording me this incredible opportunity to lead the men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron. 
The trust and responsibility you have bestowed on me is truly humbling. And I look forward to working with you in lockstep on behalf of the Dias community. When I was a young second lieutenant at Laughlin Air Force Base in Del Rio, Texas, I would drive home to Kansas for the holidays, and I would pass by this amazing base, see the B-1s landing and taking off, and it was really an incredible sight then, just as it is now. That sight served as an early source of inspiration to me in the Air Force, and now I'm thrilled to be joining the awe-inspiring work that Team Dias is doing. Major Payne, Ms. Pierce, Major Jeffries, Chief Weiser, Sergeant Hill, Sergeant Yaden, and the Force Support Team. Thank you for all the effort you've done to make this transition as seamless as possible and for your tremendous people and mission-focused leadership here at Dias. Major Payne, thank you in particular for your advice and friendship during this transition. You and your team have truly done incredible work during your time here, and I certainly am walking into some big shoes to fill. To the men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron, who keep this base running every single day, taking care of the airmen and their families, and providing force-sustaining services, manpower, and personnel programs. I am honored and humbled to be your commander, and am very excited to become part of your team. I intend to challenge each of you to lead, innovate, and collaborate in order to deliver 21st century programs and services to our airmen and their families. My energy and focus will be to enable your success and provide you the resources you need to accomplish this incredibly important mission. We are one team, and together we will succeed. Thank you. We extend a warm West Texas welcome to the Jenkins family. The men and women of the 7th Force Support Squadron will now welcome Major Jenkins with her first salute as their commander. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please stand for the singing of the Air Force song and remain standing for the departure of the official party. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come, zooming to me our thunder. Adam boys, give her the gun, give her the gun. Down we dive, starting our planes from under, off the one of the roar. We live in pain, we're down in pain. Hey, nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force. We would like to thank everyone for their attendance. Please join us for a welcome reception in honor of Major Jenkins and her family. This concludes today's ceremony.